What I would also say to that is your priorities would absolutely include this. Customer-centric experiences. Relationship building, as you guys call it. Relationship building experiences. Here's why, because we're in an era now that it demands it. People are all sold out. They know you're selling. They don't want a salesperson. They want somebody, they want an advisor. In fact, as a sell, been successful in sales environments for 20 years or more in account management, and all of which has been done not by trying to sell, but by trying to educate. By looking, in fact, V for me is value. If you add value, you will be successful. If you look for those opportunities to add value to somebody's life, that's what makes them buy from you. So I will break down value in a minute. But to me, it's literally given experiences that make people walk away and go, wow, that was amazing. Like nobody's done that. And you know what? I've discovered, and this guy does it really well, I know. In the last few years, handmade, unique for somebody individually for them has becoming so special. Why? Because of disruption. When was the last time you received a handwritten letter from a friend just to see how you're going? When did you get a handwritten letter that wasn't a Christmas card? Think about it. If I'd asked that question 10 years ago, everybody would have got it. Put your hands up. When was the last time you got a handwritten letter? In the last year, let's say. When was the last time? Last year. One handwritten letter. Like a handful. You know, I'll share with you. I, I actually, I've not told anybody this thing. You find on my website. I love adding extra, but I love doing extra things because I appreciate it. But I also learn, I need creative outlets that's not, this is creative what I'm doing here, but it's business creative. Sometimes I look for tactile creative and I learn to make dream catchers. Do you know the uh, North American Indian things? I love that, here's why, the philosophy behind them. They would make them for children because they, they're a tribal leader they called Spider Woman. And they believed that she communicated a message to a tribe that they got in their sleep. But as the tribe got bigger and grew, they couldn't hear the messages. So they made the children dream catchers and put a web for the spider women in the middle to filter out all the negative thoughts. And the feathers and charms would capture all their good ideas and thoughts. So when the child woke up, they would go into action in their waking life with only their good ideas driving their actions. How beautiful is that? And when you work as I do in human development, that really resonates with me. I just started making them. And then I suddenly realized my, my brand is MC. Pretty good when you're a speaker for a living, right? Mark Carter, MC. But Dreamcatcher, MC slap bang in the middle of Dreamcatcher as well. So I brand them, I hand make them, and I gift them. I don't sell them. I give them away. If you're on my social media, I give them away from time to time. Last year I made one, I did an interview with Fitness First. I made a Dreamcatcher, it took me nine hours and a single build to make it by hand, and the outer web was a bicycle wheel. And then it wove in with free weights and boxing gloves and running shoes and fitness charms, which they've got and they've still got, they're gonna give it away. So to me, that's handmade. When you do something that's handmade of value, handwritten letters, handwritten notes, handmade shows effort, effort shows love, love and care. People buy that because that is valuable. That is of value.